Hi there, my name is Erica. In this video, we will discuss different control implementation methods. In the previous video, we talked about different types of internal control and their functionalities. Each of these control types can be implemented using different methods. Control implementation methods refer to the techniques used to apply necessary measures to achieve control over a process or system. In other words, it is the process of converting control plans or policies into action. There are different types of control implementation methods that can be used depending on the situation and the nature of the control required. These methods include administrative, physical, and technical controls. Administrative controls are also called managerial or soft controls. These controls are related to the oversight, reporting, or operation of a process. Examples of administrative controls are security documentation, risk management, personnel security, security awareness, and training. Technical controls are also called logical controls. These controls are implemented through the use of a technology, equipment, or a device. Examples of these controls include firewalls, intrusion detection systems, encryption, identification, and authentication mechanisms. Physical controls are items put into place to protect facility, personnel, and resources. Examples of physical controls are security guards, locks, fencing, and lighting. It's important to note that while each of these methods is important, they're not mutually exclusive. In fact, the most effective information system controls utilize a combination of administrative, physical, and technical controls. One example of how administrative, physical, and technical controls are applied together to safeguard an asset is in securing a data center. Administrative controls could include policies and procedures for granting access to the data center, background checks for employees with access, and training programs for employees to raise awareness of security threats. Technical controls could include firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and encryption of sensitive data stored within the data center. Physical controls could include cameras, locks, and biometric authentication systems at the entrance to the data center, as well as barriers such as fences or walls to prevent unauthorized access. Together, these controls work in tandem to create a layered defense that ensures that only authorized personnel can access the data center while also protecting its data and systems. Effective information system controls require a comprehensive approach that takes into account the unique needs of each organization. By implementing a combination of administrative, physical, and technical controls, businesses can ensure that their information assets are protected from cyber threats and data breaches. If you like this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!